Hi guys, look at this cubic equation. The equation is m cube plus m square is equals to 810. Now, just bring this 810 on the left hand side. Now, look at this equation. This is a cubic term and this is a square term. So, in order to resolve this cubic term and this square term, we have to split this 810 in two such numbers that one is a cube of a number and the other is a square of that same number so that we can resolve or simplify that m cube. Let's check. 6 cube has a value 216, 7 cube has a value 343, 8 cube has a value 512, and 9 cube has a value 725. Now 9 cube is the numbers have a value 729 which is nearest to 810. So if we subtract 729 from this number, so we get here 1 and 8, 81. So 81 and this is a square of 9. So we can split this 810 into 729 and 81. So we can write this as m cube plus m square minus 729 minus 81 is equals to 0. Further, you can write it as m cube plus m square minus 9 cube minus 9 square is equals to 0. Now, rearrange the equation as m cube minus 9 cube plus m square minus 9 square is equals to 0. Now, we have these two terms and these two terms. Now, as you know, the two algebraic formulas that is a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square and a square minus b square has a value a minus b into a plus b. Now applying these two for formulas we can write this m cube minus 9 as m minus 9 into m square plus 9m plus 81 plus here we get m minus 9 into m plus 9 is equal to 0. Now out of these two terms take out m minus 9 common. So we are left with m square plus 9m plus 81 plus here we have left with m plus 9 is equal to 0. Further, you can simplify it as m minus 9. Here we have m square and this is 9m plus 81 plus m plus 91 is equal to 0. Further, we have m minus 9. Now, in order to simplify, we have m square plus there are two linear terms and here we have two constants that makes 90 is equal to 0. Now this implies m minus 9 is equal to 0 and m square plus 10m plus 90 is equal to 0. So one value of m is equal to 9. For finding the other two solutions of m, comparing this equation with the standard quadratic equation. So we have a is 1, b is 10 and c is equal to 90. Now Writing here the quadratic formula. So we have m is equal to minus 10 plus minus this is 10 square minus 4 into 10, 4 into 1, and c has a value 90 upon 2 into 1. Further, we have m is equals to minus 10 plus minus this is 100, this is 360 upon 2, or we have m is equals to minus 10 plus minus under root minus 260 upon 2. Now, 260 can be factorized as this is 130. Further, this is 6 and 5. Further, you can divide it by 5. So, you can write this as m is equals to minus 10 
plus minus this minus 1 under root is taken out and here 260 can be written as 2 into 2 into 5 into 13 upon 2. Further, m is equals to minus 10 plus minus just take this 2 out. So, this is 65 and in place of under root minus 1 you can put the i upon 2. Now, taking out 2 common. So, we have minus 5 plus minus under root 65 i upon 2. This 2, this 2 gets cancelled. So, m is equals to minus 5 plus minus under root 65 i. So, now we are going to write the solutions of m. First of all, m1 is equals to 9 that is the first solution. Second solution is plus under root 65 i and the third solution is minus 5 minus under root 65 i and these are the solutions for this cubic equation.